The young Indiana Hoosiers led by as many as seven points in the first half and by one with only 944 remaining in the contest. However, the veteran laden Maryland Terrapins pulled away down the stretch for an 80 to 68 victory Tuesday night in Bloomington. It's uh, disappointing because it was a very winnable game. And uh, I know that's maybe a little, maybe I shouldn't come in here and say that two years in with all the freshmen and sophomores with, that we have and with all the lack of experience that we have and all those types of things. I know we're capable of playing better. We're all disappointed in ourselves and um, there's really no words to describe the feeling right now because we all knew we could have won that game. We had our chances to really expand the game, to really put them down when they were tired, when they were hurting. And we had all the momentum, you know, the crowd was great, and we just didn't execute the way we should have. Indiana's offensive proficiency significantly dropped off late in the first half when Maryland abandoned its signature full court defense and switched to his own. The Hoosiers were not able to adjust and wound up shooting just 33% from the field. We've been working on and on and off in practice, and we just nothing was working. They, they were scoring on us. Uh, they were hurting us in transition. We got what we wanted in the zone, but we didn't make the next pass. And, and uh, we, were, we were making the next pass early on. We were doing a very good job with that. We started shooting jump shots and trying to manufacture shots rather than keep reversing the basketball and get to the rim. We struggled in it, you know. Um, I think we were just a little uncomfortable. It was like a 1-2-2 like two, two type thing. A 3-2 was real awkward for us. And I think we rushed shots. We were just impatient and we just didn't trust each other. I mean, that's what we need to do. With the defeat, Indiana has not beaten a BCS conference team out of Big Ten play since December of 2007. That victory came against the rival Kentucky Wildcats, who the Hoosiers will welcome to Bloomington next Saturday. From Assembly Hall, I'm Casey Richards for IU SportCon.